Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the Griffin Survivor Series cases for the iPhone XS Max. And overall, these cases will be available for the XS as well as the XS Max, so links will be in the description. But we're gonna take a look at these as well as these glass screen protector. So admittedly, I am pretty much a poor applier when it comes to glass screen protectors being put on smartphones. However, uh, let me rate this one. So overall, I will say this was pretty easy to put on. However, it really was difficult to get bubbles out. Uh, so I don't know if that's just the way it applied. So I, I, I don't like that part, but I will say that it not only was easy to apply, but it has the adhesive throughout the screen instead of only having the edges, which I always have not liked when uh, the only had the edges of the display. I felt they popped off too easily. So this is pretty nice. It looks like it is case friendly as well. So no matter what case you put on, you should have a little give so it won't be popping off if you decide to switch cases like you know I do. All right, so that is the Survivor glass screen protector. And of course, I always recommend you get a glass screen protector just because although it might not crack, it's definitely gonna be better for scratches. So let's get to it. All right, so it looks like we have the same case from this one, but different colors slightly. So this is the clear case and it is going to be available in black, like a, I would say like a smoky black. So that kind of transparency, really nice transparency on the back and really does repel fingerprints actually very well. I don't know if they're saying that it does, but I will tell you that Normally, when you do that, you're gonna have fingerprints all over and I see it clearly through there. So that is really nice. Uh, let me go ahead and try this one. Ooh, I think the blue is gonna go really well with the white backing that I have. So let's go ahead and put this one on. Let's go ahead and take these fingerprints off right before though. And there you have it. So really nice looking case, I will say that. I like the transparency of it. Um, I find it a little bit unique uh, how much give they give to the uh, camera. Usually it kind of hugs the camera, but this one kind of gives a little bit more attention to it. Buttons feel solid. Uh, a little bit, you have to kind of really press, I will say. So that's a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. You want to get accidental presses. And volume rocker is a nice split between the two and they're pretty big. So pretty big when it comes to the actual separation between the two. And then your opening for your switch is pretty nice. So yeah, we'll say your opening for the switch is pretty good. So I do like that, but yeah, overall good case for it. And let's see the protection on the front. So you don't really have too much protection on the sides, but you have more of the protection on the lip and chin. So that's pretty good. The top and the bottom are gonna be protected. So if it drops, it should not hit the screen at all. So that's good. And just so you can see, this is how the black one will look on there, that smoky look to it. I do have to say I like the blue better, uh, but that's my color preference. Let me know which color you liked better. And now we're gonna try out the strong case. So this is a bit more protection, seven foot drop protection instead of four. So let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, so this is a very tight fitting case. Uh, I will say that just putting it on was a little bit uh, very tight. Um, however, it is obviously a really nice for a clear case with protection. That's pretty rare to find because normally clear cases, I feel like don't give a lot of protection. This, you can see how much thickness you have all the way around this phone. I mean, it really is. It got a lot thicker compared to the other one, so just know that. But obviously you have that better drop protection. I like the buttons actually better on this one too. You don't have to do as much give, uh, so I do like that. Yeah, I will have to say I like the buttons overall better on this one compared to these. But yeah, really a strong case. I mean, this feels very durable. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side protection again. So overall with this one, again, you have, I would say not, I would say a uh, good protection on the front, uh, especially with that screen protector on, but actually not as much. I, I don't feel like this has as much front protection, funny enough, compared to these, but like holding this in the hand, it has weight to it it feels like if this dropped on the corner, this would be a lot more protective than these. But 
I will say, just looking at the front, uh, you're, you don't have as much thickness around the lip and chin, I feel like. Uh, but overall, solid feeling protection. I definitely would feel perfectly safe with this case on overall. It just, it feels very durable. A Little bit heavier for sure compared to these, so just know that. But overall, these are the different cases from the Griffin Survivor Series, as well as the Scream Protector, which is now going to be the Scream Protector I put on this phone. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.